Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back and welcome to the Live Another Life series and the Thieves Guild Blindsighted Quest. Now, normally I do these in two parts, but I've decided to do this one in one hit. Um, I'm quite excited about this as it's the first time I'm taking Tyrene up against the farmer. And if I'm going to be brutally honest, she's not really ready for these guys yet. So I'll have to make up and change tactics as I go along. Luckily, I've got Brynjolf and Carlisle to tank for me. So let's just crack on. So let's have a little look where we have to go and uh, oh it's all the way over there. Okay, yeah, I will fast travel. Excuse me, my friend. No problem, young man. I don't think it's that far from here really. I haven't done this for ages actually. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, I'm not sure how uh, Torren's going to actually deal with a farmer. She is um, pretty weak. I'm in that stage of the building the character, and, and that stage where you're really vulnerable. You haven't really got enough power to uh, fight your way out, and not enough magicka to. Uh... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Bow of the Hunt, brilliant against trolls. That's just something I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to build my archery up at some stage. Eventually, eventually I'm going to have to go to Helgen and start that quest. And uh, I can't be asked fighting dragons with uh, with basic combat weapons like swords. Fine when you want. You've got dragon rend. I guess you can bring them down, but. Other than that, you just spend about half an hour just running around chasing little bastards. Okay, we're nearly there, I think. Okay, let's get a kid up. Yeah, that'll do. I'm not going to be subtle about this little bit. I've got the two uh, the two guys to back me up, so we just dash and bash. In fact, I'll probably leave them fighting while I do a bit of looting, I guess. Oh no, you might get might get this one. Yeah, catch this one by surprise. Oh, that worked quite well. Okay, four gold, yum yum. What else you got? Oi. Get out. Bugger off. Okay, those guys can deal with them. Okay. What are we gonna have? Yeah, a little bit of stormy. Throw that in there. Oh, come on. I don't have the magic for dual casting these at the moment. Oh well. We get there in the end. Oh, they dealt with them already. Okay, so did we loot all these? Oh, no, we'll hear more. You try my patience. Well, you see what you've got. Never met me. Right yeah, I'll just leave those guys to uh, look out for them while I have a bit of a wonder. Oh, bugger, falling off. Oh, chest. Yum yum. Yum yum. Yum yum. Okay, you guys carry on. You deal with them. I'm getting rich. Come to mummy. Uh, that'll do. Oh, 
If any of you wondering why I'm doing the Thieves Guild uh, on this build through, or this, this build, it's a reward you get at the end. Go on, Stormy. Go on, go on. Key set properly. to do a, uh, an enchanting session soon but I'm going to go to Solstheim I'm going to get the chaos enchantment Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the chaos enchantment uh, before if I do anything. The problem is I don't want to level up too quickly. Oh, elemental, well, yeah, stuff familiar. Yep. Yeah. Take that. Just giving a go, a quick whistle. I'm, uh, I'm definitely going to do. Well, I, I'm going to try and do uh, a complete guide to Inigo. There's a hell of a lot to him um, than just a, a basic follower. Uh, but actually, some of it's quite difficult, or, or there's a lot to know anyway. So if I get the time, I'm going to do, a, like, um, as I said, a guide to him because uh, I think the mod deserves it genuinely it is a superb mod so uh, yeah if I get time I'll do something so people can get the best out of him okay so what I'll do is I'll leave the guys um, and I'll start just going with Brynjolf and Carla to begin with um, and when I normally do drop my followers off I'll actually go to the fast travel point and leave them there I will be here. just makes it easier when you pick them up at, at the end of the, the quest okay wait there girl Fine, let me get killed. Oh, don't worry, I can handle myself. Okay, yep, and here we are. Yeah, I'll probably loot as I go along. I'm, I'm not going to go particularly out of my way to uh, loot everything. This isn't a walkthrough. It's a playthrough. A lot of my old videos are walkthroughs. But uh, yeah, I've already done them, so I'm just going to play it. Oh, Black Soul Gem, nom nom. Oh, that's good. I'm not actually sure I've got that enchantment. I'm Dagger.
Okay. Oh, that must be an armor mod. How can shadow skill? <laughs> Impossible. Nothing can move like that. Impossible. What happened? Everything went dark. I didn't even hear anyone scream. Just, just felt the blade enter my side. Did you see who it was? The shadows. Didn't, didn't even have a chance to draw. <laughs> Well, to be fair, he is a bandit, so who cares? I've got some vague memory there was a chest around here somewhere. Twelve and both something. Hey, nom nom, nom nom. in Dwarven Oil because I will be using uh, the Spider Scrolls at some stage. They're a lot of fun. And I'm probably not going to do the whole Dragonborn DLC again, but I will be popping over to Solstein. Get myself a little Reekling. And to get the 16th Thieves uh, Guild uh, cachet. I oh, and the Chaos Enchantment as well. That's uh, the primary reason for going. Okay, I can take this dude on. Yeah, let's give it a go. Oh, nope. <laughs> I think I've cocked up. Yep, I have definitely cocked up. Get out of the way, get out of the way. I'm nearly dead. Oh, not in the flames. Doofus, quickly hide over here. Yeah, I'm definitely not ready for these. Or oh, Tyrone isn't ready for these. Okay, right. I need a plan B. I think that tells me this is going to be a sneak only quest. Right, okay, he's gone. Let's go for the bound bow, I reckon. Where's that? I do need to get my. Where the hell is it? I do need to get my uh, destruction. Spells a higher rate, but I don't think I'm going to have a chance with this guy.
Oh, oh, not enough. Oh, damn it. You see me? Damn it. Oh, damn it. Can I kill him before he kills me? Yes. <laughs> I'm so used to being OP. <laughs> this is a real shock. Okay. Okay, just sod it. Let's just run through. noise is coming from. I oh, just saw it just go through. That'd be fine. Actually, the great thing about these uh, dwarven or dwemer ruins is you uh, get loads of soul gems. Cool. Oh, I think there's a chest at the far end, but can't be bothered with that. <coughs> No, I won't bother taking that on. Yep, this is definitely giving me a brace for robbing the uh, uh, quest line. Has been here. Oh. I hope we aren't too late. Those bandits back there. Brynjolf and I found them like that. Mercer's doing. We have to catch up to him before it's too late. We I'm ready. Let's go. I wouldn't be surprised if he's left behind a few surprises for us. Okay, right, let's do this thing. I have the funny feeling Tyrone's going to be dying a lot. Oh, come on, soldier. Okay, come to mummy. There you go. Yeah, seriously, guys, you don't, you don't, you don't need to put perks into uh, lock picking. I 
I'm not just the expert lock. No, I've got no lock picking gear on, so it's it's not hard. I did a video on that, by the way. Uh, so if you're a bit unsure, struggling with lock picking, I've done a, a video on it on, on uh, a guide's Skyrim guides uh, playlist. So try and find that, and uh, that goes through everything you need to know about uh, picking locks in this game. It's honestly not hard. He wants us to follow. Aye, lass. We'll be ready for him. Let's keep moving. All the uh, the eggs. Look at the size of this place. Have you ever seen anything like it in your life, lass? Can't say that I have. Imagine the riches hidden within these walls. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, cool. There's no farm on this level. Right, if I remember rightly, I've got to hit this one and I've got to leg it all the way around. And get the other one in a certain time uh, span. Whoops, oops, damn it, get out of the way. Damn, he came out of nowhere. Did I get in time? Yes, I did. Damn it, wasn't expecting him. There. Nom nom. Yeah, collect the dwarven oil for um, oil spiders. They are insane. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a video on on uh, on spiders previously. So if you dig that out. They're awesome, absolutely awesome. But for some weird reason, they don't get used as much as they should. Oh, mushrooms, yum yum. Oh, someone set up one of those traps. Oh, those whirling blade traps, by the way, will kill you. Unless you've got very decent armour on. Oh. Yeah, like they killed this chap. Okay, is anything else here? Yeah, I think this is going to be one of those, yeah, I'm just going to try and just, just get through this the best I can. Clearly I'm outgunned now. Ah! 
Looks like we can take the low road or the high road across this chamber. Your choice. I think I'll go the low road. See no archery perks at all. Who's there? Now you're yeah, even three times damage there, I barely even touched him. Yeah, all flamey. The uh, family don't like flames, so let's uh, pop him in. Or her, sorry. Flamey definitely looks female. Flipping. Actually, the clip in this game just drives me up the bloody wall. Come on. Oh, quickly, quickly. Oh, thank God for Carlisle then. Okay, that got a bit close there. See what I mean, see what I mean about her being uh, just, just not ready for these guys. Then again though, if I come in single, I probably would have just gone invisible, I'd just gone through the whole thing invisible. Okay, 
right, so I might try that for a bit. Ooh, mushrooms. So this mushrooms. is what we heard. The entire tower collapsed. The only reason he'd do that would be to block the suit. Must be Mercer. We'll have to find another way around. Mercer was able to knock this thing down. God. It's the key, Brynjolf. In his hands, there's no telling what he's capable of. Detect life. Now these could be really handy for you, uh, by the way. Uh, at the end of this, uh, or towards the end of this quest. I haven't done these for so long, so I'm having to concentrate a bit. Okay, right. There's a centurion and a load of flower. Oops, wrong one. That's what I want. Shores bones. Look at that monstrosity. It's a dwarven centurion. Very tough and very deadly. We can take the beast on or sneak around. I think we're gonna sneak around. I don't know how that missed me. <laughs> Actually, they're quite powerful, those swords. I'll probably cut that out, so I just uh, dumped a load of stuff. Human flesh, so oh, yes, definitely have that. Yeah, I had to dump a load of stuff, I was overweight. I've been forgetting to uh, drop my stuff off after quests. Spiders down there as well. This is where we saw Mercer. We must be getting close. Hey, Carla, shut up. We're sneaking. Reeks of Falmer. This must be their hive. We'll have to keep silent if we want to avoid drawing their attention. Good night.
No, I can't resist it, damn it. Well, that's it. That's a bit crap. Definitely have the mushrooms. Come on, where's hitbox? Where are you? Ah, oh, damn it. The hitbox is so small in these things. Okay, try first person. Yeah, it seems to be much better in first person. Okay, right. I do want glow mushrooms as well, so... I'll make the effort. Damn it, I hit the side. Oh, I'll just leave them two to deal with it. So took them from the farm where they themselves were fooled. A statue, secretly by the slaves, the eyes burned into you. I see even now. That, uh, well, that's all about the eyes of the farmer, so uh, I may yet see them again before I die. Okay, cool. Fair play, fella. I should have pulled that lever up there. Yeah, if I remember now, if you pull that lever at the top of the stairs, one of the uh, the blade traps pops up and slices them into bits, and you kill them straight away, so you don't have to find them. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, so at the top as you're looking down, you saw there's a little lever there. Just pull that, and that should take care of them. As long as we get to Mercer. Hi. Whatever you want to do, we're with you. Right, Defo sneak through this.
I'm missing a whole heap of chests, by the way, guys. Ah, damn. I had that equipped. I was trying to uh, cast muffle. Come on, Carl. Damn old traps. Get out of the way. I'll just let them deal with it. I'll do a bit of looting. And bad lock picking. Yeah. Eight gold. You're having a laugh. Take some of that. Oh, one left. Okay, don't worry, Carla, I'll take care of him. Damn it. One pissed off farmer. I can't, I can't help you keep on getting in my way. Okay, let's get the farmer. Damn it, he had his ward up. His ward's down. That's him. That's him gone. Take that. Right, 
Right, this is a great spell. But there's one whole load of collateral damage with it. Yeah, I reckon it's uh, one of those... Um, it's supposed to be brilliant with the uh, Black Book Winds of Change. We get the choice where you get the power or the, uh, the effects where you don't hurt your companions or followers uh, with weapons or, or spells. But as it stands, you know, you're hurting your own people as well, so you've got to be careful with it. Great spell, though. He's and he hasn't seen us yet. Hi, lass. Nothing's getting by me. Come on, damn it, Link. See if you can... Carlia, when will you learn you can't get the drop on me? When Vrinyol brought you before me, I could feel a sudden shift in the wind. And at that moment, I knew it would end with one of us at the end of a blade. Give me the key, Master. What's Carlia been filling your head with? Tales of thieves with honor? Oaths ripe with falsehoods and broken promises? Nocturnal doesn't care about you, the key, or anything having to do with the guild. It's a blaze nocturnal. I'm here for the eyes. Do I detect a hint of genuine avarice from this noble thief? Perhaps Carlia and Brynjolf misjudged you and your true nature is no different than my own. The difference is, I still Clear. have honor. Never see the skeleton key as I do, as an instrument of limitless wealth. Instead, you've chosen to fall over your own foolish code. If anyone falls, it will be you. Passed, and once again, my blade Dickwad. will taste Nightingale blood. Right, if I remember rightly, this is one of the best ways to deal with him. Uh, pop out a Storm Atronach or any Atronach, and that seems to see him. Hopefully, that is still the case. That's where those scrolls of uh, Detect Life will come in handy. But you also see the little... There you go, you see that little... Got him. Okay. okay, right, he's hurt. Now where is he? Oh, he's down there somewhere. Damn it. Where is he? Come on, Stormy. Ah, oh, here he is. Got him. That's it, job done. And he's got some decent loose in him as well. Okay, no cool. No luck there, lass. Something must have fallen on the other side of the door because it isn't moving. We have to find another way out of here before the place fills with water. Uh, the easiest way to do this is just come up here and wait for the water to rise. Yeah, just wait. Yeah, just behind the statue, um, a hole will appear eventually, I think. Or do you go down one of the pipes? I can't remember. Anyway, one of the two. I 
think it's best having first person. And can you go in here? Is it in here? No, no. There you go. There you go. And keep on jump, 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 jump. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Up you go. There you go. Job done. And there you go. We just put pay to Mercer's dastardly ways. Foiled his cunning plan. Five years in exile and just like that, it's done. All that remains is to ensure the safe return of the skeleton key. Sounds like it'd be a simple but task. It's not that simple. When the skeleton key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulchre, our access to the inner sanctum was removed. The only way to bring it back will be through the Pilgrim's Path. It was I'd say you've never used the Pilgrim's Path. Yes. It was created to test those who wish to serve Nocturnal in other ways. As a consequence, I have no knowledge of what you'll be facing. Then we better get, get started. So, let me get this right. If she's persuaded us to join the Nightingales, where we have to serve Nocturnal for the rest of our lives and forever when we're dead, and she can't even be asked to come to the Twilight Sepulchre to give the skeleton key back because she can't face Nocturnal. So we're going to have to do it on our own. I've come to the conclusion Carlisle's a bit of a twat. But hey, we've got the Nightingale bow, so it's all good. I sold my allegiance to Nocturnal in exchange for many profitable years of thieving. Falling in love with Gallus was wrong. It was a distraction that allowed the sepulchre to be desecrated, and it likely cost him his life. Until the key is returned, I will never set foot inside that place again. Yeah, bullshit, it's just dangerous. Okay, well we'll do it. Because we're double hard. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh, we met again. That must be one of the armor ones, I guess. Yes, fellow Nightingale. Okay, nothing needs uh, to know here. Okay. Okay. Well, that's it. That was an excellent little quest. I, I love that. Love. I love doing the ruins. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we got off to the Twilight Sepulchre, and me told Nocturnal. And uh, that promises to be a barrel of laughs. So I hope you enjoyed the vid, guys. Catch you next one. See you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.